My name is Brother Lawrence Aya. I'm living at number nine, I think, me, Itre. I joined choosing 2005. My testimony go like this. I thank God for preserving me for the hand of Honorable this morning at Ikui. For doing what? Say that again. I say I thank God for protecting me from the hand of Honorable at Ikui this, this morning. morning. Clap on to God of the Chosen. I appreciate this great God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. After what I missing yesterday, they proclaimed my name that I should come work that yesterday night. I went. So this morning, I told my colleague, I said, I'm going to prepare for service this morning. I went out around 5.34 this morning. As on my way going to the bus stop that will enter bus, one occurred that passed me by. My body change so a go far go stand i move on getting to the point where they are standing as i near them one at the back that sit on the okada come down you bring out gone they bring that back i say i'm a choosing mm -hmm. I, i'm a choosing i'm a choosing i'm robert who are you yes what my pastor where are you he stand he look at me he say pastor i don't know you my heart very big that my heart was very big I move to collect the gun. So he moved, enter Ogada and zoom away. Clap on to God on Tuesday. The commandment, the instruction is very potent. Active any day, any time. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my pastor. I want to pray that for him. God has called him. He will not fail him. I pray for him that the 10, 10 million soul mandate and threefold vision must be fulfilled before the rapture. Amen. I pray that God will give him the strength, the grace, the strength, the power, the anointing. I pray that anointing of old, anointing of Elijah, Elijah, anointing of Paul, Peter, let God of Jesus carry that anointing, join together and give to Adadi in the Lord. Amen. I pray that he should anoint his mouth, anoint his tongue, as you possess him. I told that God of choosing to make him an angelic, give him angelic body to take, carry all the three, four, fifteen, ten million, ten million soul mandate. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I pray for a mommy in the Lord that as angels surround Jerusalem, so are the angel of God, and the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the angel of God surround her and the children in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that for all the children ones, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap on to God of the chosen. Don't forget to apply and identify who you are in any danger. That's what our pastor says. And is standing for everyone and in heaven. Declare who you are. Face of armed robber, kidnapper, ritual killers, terrorists. Say, I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. Three times. And then ask the armed robber, the criminal, who are you? This pastor say you will see something that is mightier than man. And if they continue to do anything to threaten you, maybe they shoot their God. Shout and ask the God of my pastor, where are you? Definitely you will conquer. You will seize their God. If they come down, pastor say, take their gun from them. They cannot resist it. That robber ran away with his gun. The next testifier. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ngozim Nodim. I joined Choosing 2011 and my branch is Ojodu branch. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony is a revelation. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On um, last month, Monday through um, Tuesday, early morning, I was in a revelation. I saw people running, haters, haters, and there are many cops on the floor all over. So these cops are very many. So I was running for safety. And I went and hid myself in a, a very tight place. 
And while I was there, a huge man came. He just stopped me at the back. I turned back and looked at him. Though I cannot see the face, he asked me, he said that where do we spend our eternity? Do we listen to our G.O.? What is telling us that he's coming very soon? He's no more wasting time. Why I was there, I was thinking that after giving me that instruction, maybe that is the way others we have fallen. But after that, he gave me a quotation, First John 2 verse 15 to 17. He said he's coming back very soon. Where will you spend your eternity? Where will you spend your eternity? Where will you spend your eternity? I pray that all the choosing members, as we are hearing this message from our daddy, that we will hack into this message that he is telling us that there is no more time. He has told us so many series of message that we will listen and repent from every unrighteousness that we are living. That at the end, all of us shall make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for my G.O. whom God have called. When God showed me that I will listen to him, he showed me his future as he was talking to tell me the particular person that he's referring to hmm. whether we are listening to the message. Hmm. And when I saw him, when I turned back and looked at him, I know this is my G.O. And I know that he's a follower of the gospel. I know that my G.O. is one of the disciples God has chosen. And I pray for him. This anointing, he will carry it to the end. And every soul that have this message in choosing will not lose out at the end in Jesus' name. Amen. This period that we are into, there are, there are trials and temptation, hunger strike and all that. I pray that no choosing shall use this opportunity to backslide in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my G.O. Heaven will be his portion and every choosing member heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Where do we spend our eternity? Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No question to ask you. God is using everything to reaffirm, to reconfirm the message of the pastor of choosing through revelation, through choristers, through testimonies. What is left for you and me is to obey and to act in accordance with the teachings of the pastor of choosing. Second to the last testifier for this morning session. Second to the last testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Women of every. My name is Sister Mary Okafo. I reside at number 12 Giwa Street, Onipan. My branch is Ilupeju branch. I came to choose him first time, 2006.
gives a testimony of from grass to grapes. Hmm. Mine is a testimony of from is a testimony from poverty to stupendous riches. Power. Hey, hey, hey. Mine is a testimony of from nobody to somebody. My testimony goes like this. I am a woman, a family that stays in a compound that poor people are living. You know that kind of uh, compound? That compound of face me, I slap you, face me, I face you. And the poor called me poor. Hmm. It happens that by God's grace, I'm a graduate of an accountancy. And I was working, but that work was not bringing food on the table. I resigned from that work. And when I wanted to resign, my MD asked me, what will I do for you? I said, get me a land phone, that box, a land phone. So when he gave me the land phone, I went to Ikeja on that bridge and I was making phone calls, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The suffering was too much. As I was making the call, I have a sister, my younger sister that is living here in Lagos. She will come to me and she will be saying, go to choosing. I say, what is choosing? She said, I know you very well because if you, are, if you go there now, you will do it more than anybody. You know, I, I am a deeper life and I married a man from Foursquare. So I am born again right from my youth. So when she was saying all these things, I said, if she would be telling me this thing, why will an unbeliever be talking to me like this? And one day, something that she said that struck me was, if your church cannot change you, change your church. Power. I said, look at this unbeliever talking to me like this. Hmm. This my sister, what she normally do, it was later that I found out. She stayed with the husband for five years, no issue. But anytime she wants to, when she discovered choosing, Anytime she wants a baby, she will come here and carry her baby and go home. Till today, she's not a chosen. She has four kids now. She's no longer giving birth. Mm -hmm. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I came here the first time in that 2006, I had gospel. You know, where I was coming from, I know that if you are born again, you focus on heaven. Other things doesn't matter. But I came here, my geo said, from here you have me natural heaven here, from here we enjoy and go to heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was done on me that it is possible to be making it here and we go, go to heaven at the mm. same time. Mm. That was when he was re reading that scripture, he said Genesis 24. And he said that Abraham was old and was speaking in age and God blessed him in all things. And he told us that Abraham, you know that somebody died, he was in Abraham bosom. So he now elaborated that scripture to us. And it dawned on me and I went with this faith. And I discovered a scripture during that time, that is uh, Psalm 34 verses. That poor man cried and God heard and delivered him from all his trouble. I dwell on that scripture and one day it was so much that I came here, I was crying and crying, and our Jesus, man, when he mounted the pulpit, he said, my sister, why are you crying? Hmm. Wipe your tears, that the blessing that God of choosing is going to bless you, no man can bring you down. Hey! That was in the congregation. Yes, sir, on Thursday. Hmm. I want to tell you, I knew that he was talking to me. So I wiped my tears, I joined in the prayers. It's not these days that church dismisses three o'clock, dismiss two, sometimes one. Those days our GO used to dismiss us like five, five thirty, you know. But I want to tell you that that Thursday, 
We know how Gio comes in. We know how he goes out. Not that these days that everything has been coded. We don't know how, when he comes and when he goes. So we normally stand by there. If he's coming in, we wave. If he's going out, we wave. <laughs> so after the Thursday fellowship, I read, I've seen in the scripture where Bible says that, is in the book of Proverbs, that no one passes by the bar and the eyes become red and become drunk. I normally, every Thursday, when, when I come, I come with my rapper in the back. After waving bye-bye to Ajio, I will just come and lie down and sleep. Hmm. Because I don't even know what I'm going home to do. Hmm. I will sleep there. I told you they mock me and they mock everything that I have. They hmm. mock me, they mock my husband, they mock us. We wear tattered clothes at a time when I, in, I go to church. One of our sisters in the church, she looked at me because the bag that I carry, it has torn. She looked at it and said, Sister, come. Go and price bag. Tell me how much is it. She will give me money. But I didn't tell her, but she gave me 5,000 naira. I look at 5,000 naira. I say, how can I use 5,000 naira to buy a bag? I went, I bought a bag of one five. I went, I went, because I know, if I didn't buy the bag, she will still see me on Sunday that I'm not carrying a new bag. So when I carried that back to church, I went to her, I told her, Sister, please, oh, I didn't buy 5,000 naira back. I still have change. He said, no problem. So far that I'm carrying a new one. Hmm. I am a woman that cooked with 50 naira. I cooked soup with 50 naira. I cooked soup with 100 naira. But I want to tell you that at that Ikeja, when I started coming to choosing, somebody was from making calls and and selling recharge cards. Somebody started giving me phone. At that juncture that he was giving me phone, I told my husband, see, that this phone they are giving me is making money. And my, I brought it home for my husband. My husband was hawking it on the streets of Lagos. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, we suffered many things. I am that woman that have, was pregnant, and if labor comes, I will kneel down and tell God, let, may I not give birth to this child now? Because there, I didn't go to Antinetta, that's my third child. I didn't go to Antinetta one day until the day I delivered him. Hmm. So one of the days my husband came back, he gave me 20,000 naira. Because I know a place that I can go and deliver the baby, they will not collect money, but I will buy baby things there. So I went there, I bought baby things the same day. Just to tell you that God has been holding that baby. The same day I bought that in, the same day I gave back to that baby. Thank Joseph, you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God. Clap unto God. That's a one big miracle. Thank you, Father. I was doing this. At the time, the man gave me phone. Before you know it, we started making money. At least we are eating now. Hmm. I went to uh, Fashola came and destroyed a uh, computer village, those people that are staying under, under umbrella, they asked us, they chased us away. And I was looking for a place. Somebody introduced me and said, there is arena. So I went to arena. When I got to arena, it was clothes they were selling that time. Everywhere clothes. So I joined them. I learned the trade under somebody. And the person, uh, when I see it is, you know, uh, you will go to China and buy the clothes. And I now asked him, how much does it take to go to China? He said, three million naira. I said, I don't have that kind of money. So I go to Onicha to buy and come back. So uh, at the time, I, I was left to ask another man. And the man told me that, don't mind them, with 1.2, you can go to China. Chose a praise the Lord! Hallelujah! That is how I gather things together and I started traveling to China. Hey! Power! Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I went for the first time. It was good. I went for the second time. You know, the, what was raining, what is raining is bomb shot and spaghetti hand. And I can't sell such things. So I bought the one that uh, people that have sense can wear. So I, they now told me in the market, choosing woman. How can you go to China, 14 hours going, 14 hours coming, and you are coming with choosing clothes? Go 
want to choose him and sell it. The other one will say, choosing is having crusade though. Go there and sell it. The other one will say, choosing people will not even buy. Men and brethren, that was how those clothes, some of them, you know, at the price is one to, some of them were sold at 300 naira, 200 naira at Aswani. So I looked at those things, I said, no, I cannot continue like this. I can't compete with these people. So I now went into another thing because that, those two times I went to China, I saw something that I was bringing, is footwears. So I, I said, and since I have these people's number, when I gathered that number, I, when I gathered the money, I was sending the money and I'm bringing it small, small. Before you know it, I gathered money, I traveled to China again, I started, I had this connection and I was buying from one person, I was buying from one man and the wife, only one man. I was buying from him, anytime I come, I buy from him, you know. Before you know what is happening, brethren, he started giving me goods on credit. Hmm. Chosen, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! When he started giving me goods on credit, this thing I'm saying is that I am nobody that if my people, I have brothers that live in overseas, they refuse to help me. I want to tell you, I, in fact, my level is not in level. There's no, no, I don't even know how to put it. So I, when they want to make decision in the family, they will not call me. They, some, some of them, if they are coming back from uh, Germany, they will tell my younger sister, that one that made me to know choosing. Don't tell her that we are coming, we don't want problem. What is the problem? Because I'm going to beg for money. The other one that no, the other one said to me one time, he said, uh, when I beg him for money, he said, Ego mu we go coke, in a go coke, we will burn again. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that was how I left that one. And so from there, I forgot everything about them. At the time, there was one day I was making call. The watch that my husband bought for me when we were in our wedding. So I, I didn't have money to pay them. I removed the watch and gave it to them. So uh, one day we are coming to church. My husband asked me, watch, put it on. I was looking at him. Was the, I, say, I said, I gave it to those people that are making phone call. That was how he go there and paid them and brought the watch back. Hmm. I want to tell you the level of what was happening to us. At the, at the time we fell me to, to tell you the things that I passed through because you know, this is my testimony. If you ask me to give it over time, I will give you different versions of it. Hmm. I know because there are times that I, I gather money, thieves came and so there was time that my husband, after hustling and hustling and hustling, they, he put money in the pocket because his trousers, is store, the thing fall off, he didn't come back with the money. I want to tell you there are so many versions of this testimony. But let me go straight to the point because there are so many testimonies that are still in the making because God have decided to favor my household. Power! That is the conclusion of the matter. <laughs> Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before you know it, this white man started giving me containers. 40 feet. We are not talking of 20 feet container. Mm. Before you know it, I started offloading two containers every week. Hey! Every? Every week. Power! Hey! hey. Clap unto this great God. Thank you, Father. Every week, two containers. Hey! 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Jesus. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Of course, you know, I am no longer living in that yard. And as God we have it, we, we are we back to a new house at, at the back of where I was living. So those people that mocked me and called me poor, 
they normally see me cruising with my car and they know where I am living. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Higher, higher level. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Hallelujah. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Counting my shops in Arena, I have over 30 shops. What? Say that again. I say, counting my shops in Arena, I have over 30 shops. 3 0, 30 shops. Over, over. Hey, hey, hey. Give God the resounding clap of friend. Appreciate the mighty God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the Chosen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. shops in arena you need to know the cost of one shop in arena and then 30 thank you father thank you God of chosen moderator point of correction I said over, over 30, 30, 30 sorry thank you so much yeah. over 30 shops in arena As, yes. praise the Lord hallelujah I went around to check my stock. I went around to take stock of what is happening. I found out that I am doing a business of over a billion naira. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Father. The chosen billionaires are coming. Clap unto God and appreciate it. Clap to this great God. Hey! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Multi billionaires. Hallelujah. Jose, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. You can give God a heavenly clapping. Only God can do this. Only God will choose it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that spontaneous clapping to the great God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Amen. Joseph, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Something used to happen if you go to China and you go to that uh, Chinese man's shop. He will tell you, do you know Mary? And you said no. He said, Mary is living in Lagos. Do you, you don't know Mother Chuzi. Hmm. Because the, the time he visited here, I brought him and the wife here. When we are having one crusade, I brought them. Hmm. So they know me very well. He will ask you, do you know Mother Chuzi? And by the time you say you want to buy like 20 carton, 30 carton, he said, go and buy from Mary. Hey! Chosen, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Something happened. One of the importers in Arena came to me and said to me, I want to ask you something. Please help me. I want you to give me an honest answer. Said what? He said, Did you take this man's name and give to your Jew? <laughs> so Jew, your Jew is praying so that this man knows you alone. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I was laughing because in my mind I said, I've never crossed paths with our Jew. I've not seen our Jew face to face except this one because I, um, I got born again when I was young, when I was youth. So I, I know what faith is all about. I don't bother myself to go and see Jew because I know what it means to speak in Jerusalem and it came to pass in Capernaum. <laughs> Power, power. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. How much more speaking from the pulpit, it will come to pass immediately, sharp, sharp. Hey! Joseph, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! So, what do I say? Hmm. I have my two kids, those ones that I fed with 15 naira soup. One is in Afe Babalola University. The other one is in Covenant University. Hey! Ask people how much they are paying there. Hey! 
this man snapping this picture, he's a witness. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I employed him as my children's teacher, private teacher. Hmm. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the testimony interviewers, the way they are interviewing me, I don't know what they want me to bring to show, maybe if these things are happening real. So, I want to call some people that I know here that know me. Hmm. If you know Monday Sorrow to Joy, go and ask him who I am. If you know Bro Kenneth that stands at the back of our geo, go and ask him if you know me. I saw, I used, when I sit there and I look at the stream during uh, instant testimonies, I used to see China pastor. Go and ask him as I'm test. If he's here, he knows me. Hmm. Just embrace the Lord. Hallelujah. And I am aware there are some people that are in our arena here that know me. I want to, I have come to return all the glory to God of chosen. Who is the maker of the miracle? My brethren, I don't know any other place. Hmm. I don't know any other place. The only thing that I will do, if it is so serious, I will start going from choosing pastors. I will start going from one pastor. I know Pastor Moby, I will call him on phone. If there was a time he was our our regional pastor, I know Pastor Eze, I know Pastor Israel, I know, I just, I, to name them, I know them, I will call them, see what I'm passing through, they will pray for me. All choosing pastors. All choosing pastors. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At this juncture, I want to make a request. Hmm. Moderator, please, I want to make this request, please. I want to make it to our daddy. If I can only see him, because so many things are happening, not bad things, because they feel that maybe I've shook hands with him, or he has, I want to see him. You want to come and shake hands with him? Yes, I <laughs> want to shake hands with him. <laughs> Just praise the Lord. If I did not shake hands with him, things are happening like this. What of if I shake hands with him? I don't know about shaking hands, but you might be able to see the pastor face to face. Yeah. But Just I don't know about shaking hands, but I know that something extra will happen. Amen. Choose the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At this juncture, I want to pray for my geo. Daddy, I love you so much. Mm. I have a secret prayer that I normally pray for him. And that prayer is, let God give him gift of men. Not in the many millions who want to ask. I ask God, as the mountain is round about Jerusalem, let the Lord be around him, the wife and the children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray that whatever the enemy is planning, wherever they are and they are planning against our pastor, is it in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south, in the water, beneath the water, anywhere they are and they are planning against our pastor, inside and outside, and Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! I pray for him and his entire household, heaven at last. I pray for all the chosen worldwide, heaven at last. I pray for me and my family, heaven at last. Please, I have advice for newcomers. Hmm. Stay put. These things we are doing here is turn by turn. When it is your turn, you will surely get it. Hmm. And you know, our pastor read us a, a portion in the scripture on Thursday. He said, I will overturn. Hmm. I will overturn. And I will overturn it. Until it comes, who right it is, I will give it in. Hey. When it is your turn, no man will hinder it. Amen. Please don't go away. Stay put. 
For our God is set to do us good. Amen. It is not our fault. God has decided to be resident in chosen. It is not our fault at all. Hey. So stay put. Our God is here. Hmm. Stay put. God is here. Anytime you want to see God, come here. You will see God. Hey. I cover my testimony hey. with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Chosen is first class. Amen. On the higher level, on the higher level, choosing on the higher level, be a chosen. Let's give God a very big clap offering. Clap unto Him. Our sister made a request. If I don't respond to that request, it will look as if it's ignored. I want to tell her that I will do everything possible to make her to see Gio. But not, not to shake hands. You will see Gio. We'll work it out. Praise the Lord. I am so moved by her testimonies. I don't know if you are. But stay here. Extend the invitation of this God of choosing to people. Can you imagine? He said her sister comes here to carry baby. He's not a member. He has had four children now. And said to her, go to choosing in her state of terrible abject poverty. And today, she's a billionaire. Stay here. Our pastor said, your prosperity will provoke sinners to repentance. Clap unto God and appreciate it. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The following groups are going to meet after service. I just mentioned your name and venue. No long stories. I go out of room by North Anambra State. Meet at their usual venue. Omo Moha. Meet at her 104 brother's side. Ndokwa Ukwa and choose a meet at her nine brother's side. Mbieri to meet at her 107. Hito Boma, her 52. Araifite and Akuku, last hall in first tag. Amaruru, Hite Nasa and Asa Ubrelim in Osulu Kagomen Remo State. Meet a small bus park. Ikuano and Obuahia, local government area. Meet at her 91, 92. First tag. Equal bread in a bony state meet at the usual venue. I have a bunch of key here, lost but found about four key uh, a Nissan key and the re two remote controls. Please, if check your key and come to the back of the pulpit to make claims. The last testifier for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Joy Eze. Standing by my side is my sister-in-law by name Favor Ejam. The little girl is her daughter. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are standing here together to return the glory unto this faithful God who did, who did not fail me, who stood on the gap for me. Mm. And that's why I came back in because I told him if this, thing, if this baby did not die, if this dead you come back, this is my first time standing in this pulpit. I said, God, if you do it, I will come back here and return the glory before the congregation and that's why I'm here praise God hallelujah our testimony starts this way this is my sister-in-law they are they're based in Gabon so on enemy submitted on Saturday of 8 I was I received a call around 6 30 why we are preparing to come for program last year so my younger brother called me say auntie please 
pray for my baby. They saw the hand swelling up all of a sudden on Friday as they came back from school. So I told him, don't worry. I, I have the, his, her picture. I will take it up there. That enemy must submit it, whether they like it or not. So we came for the program, and as we come, I presented the baby before this girl of the chosen. And luckily to me, on that process, when our daddy was praying, conclusion of praying at that day, the case of this girl was mentioned. I claim hey. it, I sound outside. So, on 8, you know, they started disturbing me, calling me on phone, that this baby is nowhere. It, the, the problem becomes extraordinary. So, I keep on believing this girl. I keep on presenting this girl, pre presenting the baby before this girl. I know, I said, my brother, remember, I am a chosen. And the, I told him, borrow this word, though you are going to choose him, but you are not too strong. I say, declare this word before me as I'm calling them on the WhatsApp. I say, if I'm talking, follow me this way. And I say, declare three times. And he followed me, lay hand on the girl, be praying, also declare it. I say, forget about it, it is done. Hmm. So, this matter continued. They went to the hospital. The body of the child, one hand from the left side, swelled up. From before you know it, three days interval, the leg follows it. And now I started asking you, what is the problem? What, my, what is the problem? Can I be able to know? What happened? What did you notice? He said that this baby come back from school, where they, where they are schooling. The hair the mommy made her was caught. So she asked the daughter, what happened to your hair? He said it was the auntie that caught the hair. But she don't know what she wants to use it, the hair to. You know, as a little girl of three years. So, I say, is it what happened? I say, don't worry. Because I will now let them know that I am a choosing. He made a mistake going to this place. Because as I'm a choosing, my daddy said, wherever you are, stand for your family. Stand for everyone belongs to you. I have now so much more courage to stand for this girl. And the two girls, they did the first operation. They said they did taste, this series of tests, they saw water, filled up the hearts. Hmm. They dream it for the first one, they did operation. Second one, they did operation. And the moment, anytime they are doing the operation, they will call me. I will go to my branch in Solo, where I am. I go at the back because that is closed. I go at the back where intercessors used to be because I'm one of the intercessors. I kneel down flat there. I stand on the gap of this girl until... Two consecutive times they did an operation and this girl came out. So the matter continued as it's going on. They wanted to do operation again towards December. The same child on the same heart. I said no. I said no. I called him and said, please, I said no. Bring this child back to me here. If it is possible, I will come here and be presenting this little girl before God. Luckily to me, my brother listened to my call. On 30th of December, they brought this child here. As they arrived at airport, I was there by 11.30. We come back home. My sister, my brother, what my eyes sees, I couldn't be able to explain it. Hmm. Over that night, throughout, this baby, he was screaming. I see somebody, something, ho. He was screaming. And as she's crying, it looks as if, you know, they are soaking blood from her. And the moment the thing stops, she will be quiet. She will be looking at you like this. I saw, okay. In the morning, being 31st, as early as 7 o'clock, I boarded a taxi. It took us to St. Emmanuel because I have a metro in the same branch where I am. I called her. She said, bring her there. I took my baby there with my sister-in-law. We went there. Mommy looked at the baby. He said, oh, Ch Ch Sister Joy, hold on. I will refer you to... Um, General Hospital. She gave me a contact of somebody to see, so they will not delay. We carried, we boarded the test, go back to uh, General Hospital. Reaching there, we called the woman, she answered us. Immediately, they start running tests, running tests, running tests. We spend there. We are spending there. I didn't mind. Till four, 15 minutes after four, the nurse referred us to teaching hospital, Ikeja. My sister, I was going from hand to hand. 
reaching there, they said they did the test, the heart is enlarging. Hmm. The kidney is affected. The liver is affected. I saw at the result all they was bringing. I said, okay, no problem. But this baby is a choosing. Hmm. That this business, this thing, it will make me to stand before this altar and give God thanks. We continue, continue, continue. I encourage my sister in law. I say, keep on following me. There is no problem. Then our crusade is approaching, being sorrow to joy. I was, you know, trying to plan how to so they can discharge us to come to the program. Luckily to me, on my prayer, before I went to pray, I saw an old man with white hair. He called me he with umbrella. He said, Sister, ah, look at the crowd. That the cloud has changed. A heavy rain is about to fall. But the issue that enter with me inside this umbrella, the rain went up for you. Praise God. I enter with that old man. Enter there. I did not know whom the man is. But all when I wake up, it was a dream. Hmm. I hold myself, I hmm. pray, I share it with one of my brother and evangelists. We pray together and tell God, so far you send an a helper to us that this rain that is about to fall will not shower on us. God, I stood, I called your word. We continue on this baby. My beloved brethren, to my great little surprise, this baby is not working for over two months and the Hmm. And the result of that swelling up or whatever, the hair, they caught the baby. They are carrying the baby from one place to another, from hospital to hospital, from hospital to hospital, until sorrow to joy. Hey! Until sorrow to joy. I boarded a taxi. I said, I told her, mosquito will bite us so. Now this place will be, but the mosquito doesn't harm us. We will be here. I went and buy the net. We stay somewhere down there. I told him we are not going. We will stay here until the program is over. Hmm. We all are here with my children. All of us are here. We stay. That first program of enemy submitted. We are done done. As the moment my daddy came out and began to pray, he said, anybody that is not working, anybody that broke somebody that is doing this and that is, that is you know, unable to work, he said, go and wake him, go and tap him. Let him stand there. I stood up immediately. I carried her. I said, Mama, oh yeah, come. I was coming. I was saying, okay, my baby get off on that place. She was sit, lying down on the mat. And started walking. And started walking. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise God. Hallelujah. I saw my courage. I was, you know, Directing her, I said, that, Mama, come. Mama, come. She followed me as I'm walking. She's following me. We walk down here. Hmm. This testimony gives partial from her mommy. She just said, She thanked God that the baby stood up and started walking. Hmm. I kept it because it's still not yet completed. Then I was, GO, now make a word that next day, being Sunday, that we should come back and give the testimony in full. Come and see. As we read back there, she lay down. Nowhere again. We tried all we could. Nowhere again. She was crying. And as she's crying, I'm not looking at her cry. I'm still praying inside me. So all of a sudden, after that final day, we went uh, back to the hospital. As we went there, I was looking for all alternatives so I can be able to see a uh, GO. I came here, I was, you know, because I know, I believe it strongly that if my daddy could be able to see her one and one and make a word, I know that that cutting head is not ordinary, I know. But I was hoping that I would see you, but it was so difficult, so difficult. You know, to the extent, missionaries, uh, coordinator, they, they took me there, he interviewed us, he asked us, he laid hand and prayed for the, this baby. He prayed for this baby. He prayed to this baby as if tomorrow no day. So, other pastors, Pastor Sam, Pastor Ima, I was coming here, all of a sudden I said, no, let me do counseling to her. I brought her here. They prayed for her. My sister, my, my brother, because of the result of that cutting hair, this girl you see here, passed a lot of things, a girl of three years. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to think. Then, 
after sorrow to joy, we continue. Every Thursday we are here. Every Thursday we are here. Even this last Thursday, I am here on behalf of this my daughter. So, I decided this girl who has heard my prayer, who restored the life of this girl, who did not allow the devil to take the glory from, my, from me, who stood on the gap and fight a battle of this girl could not be able to fight. And that was why I said, no, I cannot hide it because I told God, if this, if this girl come back alive, if this girl did not die, I will come back here and testify it in the loud of the congregation. And I will stand with a token to say, God, thank you. And here you are. The declaration of my GO. See here. She cannot walk. Hey. She's moving everywhere. Thank you, Father. She's moving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, God of my pastor. I've not seen GO face to face. All the way from Gabon. They were so, you know, so inquisitive. The husband there was so inquisitive because he's a choosing. He said, please, auntie, try all you could. Please, let daddy pray for her. Let daddy pray for her. That she wanted daddy to make a declaration. If daddy make it, that she believes that all these matters will be over. I told him, don't worry. Even though I may not be able to see daddy, that's so I'm bringing this baby here, day mm -hmm. and after. This place, this baby will be okay. Very correct. To my greatest surprise, one of the Saturdays, she just woke up from the hair. She came to my room. Big mommy, because she called me big mommy. She said, big mommy, good morning. I said, hey, angel, good morning. How are you? She said, I was looking at her. That stomach that swelled up, like, starts going down. Hmm. The shape at the back that, if you see the, the, the way this girl was, you can't even believe. She's not walking. This leg becomes slim. So, I standing here back. I am standing here. This is a great opportunity for me. And I say, God, who fought this battle? He knew that we have no strength of aid. He who stood for on the ground for this little baby. I said, God, may your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because of our time. Choosing what I say, Lord. Mm. Choosing what I say, Lord. You are. Mm. Choosing what I say, Lord. Choosing is worthy to be praised. Yes, yes, yes. All the rest of my life, I told them I am the only choosing in my family. And I told them I will grab all of them one by one. And they must submit to this God of choosing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Luckily to me, as I'm standing here now, my brother, day and after, when you come back from church, you say, Auntie, ah, mosquito has bites me. I cannot go back. I will follow thy God. As hmm. I'm telling you now, my brother has joined choosing. Power! Taking the word by signs and wonder. Now. So, the matter of this one is a little thing. I told her, forget. It doesn't matter. It's a gradual process. This God who arrests me, will arrest you. It will arrest the race of my house because I know there is God in this place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes.
Amen. Yes, you can begin to conclude in your testimonies now. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am standing here before this congregation once again to say, God, thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Father. As you, as you can see, Mama, walk around. Let the whole world see what God has done. Move around. Walk around. Put the devil to shame. Move around because I know God has done it all. Glory return to God. Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of Jose. That's the baby that was gone. Heart enlargement. Kidney problem. Liver problem. Swollen stomach. Could not walk. That's the baby walking there live and direct. Clap unto God of the Chosen. Appreciate him. Big time last came. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. Honestly speaking, I'm not worthy to pray to my G.O. But day and night, even if when I'm doing my money devotion, even if I could not be able to say anything, I remember I do tell God, please, as the owner of a vehicle, when his or her vehicle being broke down, he took it to the mechanic for servicing. I said, God, as our daddy, daddy is on this journey day and night, may you service him. May you take him to the theater of heaven. Let the physicians of heaven grease him, oil him. The oil of God upon you will never dry up. He will continue doing it until he grabs my family. My family, my family's members must become an a chosen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is my prayer to my G.O. May the Lord strengthen him. May the Lord continue envelop him day and after. And no weapon found against him shall prosper. Amen. Any evil, any altar that may rise unknowingly, invisible before him, the Lord will raise a standard against them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the mother of the baby now, that's the mother of the baby, let her say praise the Lord or any other thing she wants to say. Choose the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That baby is your child from your womb. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And all the testimony your sister-in-law gave about her yourself, correct? Yes, sir. Your baby is sound and healthy now. Yes, sir. And all those complications are gone. Yes, sir. Let us clap unto God and appreciate it. Clap unto the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All you need to do is to stay put in the Lord's chosen. No shaking, no moving away. As you stay here, assuredly, you will testify of any matter in Jesus' name. Yeah, does she still want to say something? Is it the little baby? Please, sir, moderator, I want to sing a song. Okay. He said, Great God. He said, Great God. He said, Great God. All I know. All I know. He said, Great God. He said, Great God. He said, Great God. All I know. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord choose him. He's so great. He's so great. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. I thank this God of choosing for deliver this my child. I say may his name and his name alone be glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I, wa I want to go back to the to Gabon. And I want to, please, sir, I want you to, I want that you want to make a declaration upon this, my baby, so that the dealing will be permanent. You say we should do what? 
the healing is already permanent. What you need to do, make sure you continue in choosing. Make sure you don't leave the Lord's choosing. Make sure you continue in fellowship in here in Gabon. Okay? And uh, the healing is perfect. You will continue to testify of this goodness in Jesus' name. There is no miracle that I know in choosing that is not permanent. Praise the Lord. I want to tell the congregation that you are in for miracle today. Get ready. It is your turn now. But permit me to ask the choosing people. I'm being persuaded to ask this question. Are we still paying our monthly covenant seed? I mean, monthly partnership. Monthly partnership. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. If you know what he promised God every month, go back to it and make sure you are servicing it.